Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today then is a little bit of a get your home ready for autumn winter with me because it's that time of year when I like to kind of change things around and just make sure like sort of the outdoors is weatherproof and you know, I feel like I'm nesting. Does anybody get that? I'm like, I'm nesting for winter almost. Um, so yeah, I thought um, I would film what I do and then you can check, uh, make sure that you've got everything covered as well at your home. So first things first then, it's on with the boots. I'm not sure what happened to my wellies, but they're hidden somewhere probably in the shed. Uh, and out into the garden. Lawn has had its final cut, I think, of the, uh, the year. Loads of leaves are already sort of in the hedgerow, so I need to get those up. So what I've done is uh, raked those away from the hedgerow. Because uh, what I'm actually going to do is plant some new bulbs for, well they should come up sort of um, winter and spring because I've planted um, some crocuses and also some daffodils. I've got a handy gadget that um, you put onto the end of a drill and uh, it actually helps you make the holes into the ground because uh, as you can imagine the ground is quite hard with the roots being there from the hedge. I kind of enjoyed this really. If only it had really been this quick. I spent hours one uh, year planting snowdrops. Must have been hundreds. Hardly any came up. I'm not sure why. Still got a few come up, uh, occasionally. Body outward, white coffin and flowers. Two seats for your bourbon. Playful sparkles and eyes. What a night like. Why see the table when you can sit down? Whoa, 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 whoa. She looks like I've had a party. I haven't. Um, I have, however, had a lot of heavy rain, and although the covers are pretty much waterproof, a little bit's got through. Um, but because there has been so much rain, it's kind of made the edges a little bit green. I don't know if you can see. Um, I always take them off at winter anyway and uh, store them in the loft. So, uh, what I'm going to do because they do need uh, cleaning is I'm going to take them off and wash them. And uh, I'm also going to try and get the, uh, the kind of green stuff off as well, ready for next uh, year, so they're nice and fresh when they go back on. This set was from B&M. Um, it's okay, the, uh, the set itself is quite sturdy. The cushions aren't so great. Uh, the zip has gone on one and uh, the filling's coming out of another and I only bought them last year. Not easy getting that one on and off. <laughs> So I'm just going to give the uh, set a good wipe, get all the, uh, well, a good brush, shall I say, get all the, uh, the bits off it, uh, all the big bits. And then the good old shark, just to get the little bits out that have uh, gathered around the edges. I'm not going to cover it up just yet because obviously I do like to sit outside when we get the autumn nights um, but once we get sort of more to the frosty nights then I will cover it up. Probably need another wipe down before uh, it gets covered for the winter though. My rug as well has got a little bit dirty uh, I think with the weather 
So uh, giving that a good old shake, and give it a brush over there, and uh, put a little bit of stain remover on it as well, just to uh, try and get the marks out. Always check though um, the small piece, just to make sure it doesn't discolour your outdoor rug as well before you do that. The cushion covers then from outdoors I've actually got in the bath here and I'm treating the, the discoloration, the green bits, with a mixture of white vinegar spray and Astonish Cleaner, which you can just see I've got in the bath there. If you are doing this as well, just make sure you wear gloves because you don't want to irritate your skin uh, with the cleaning products. Then once I've done this, I just rinsed it and uh, popped them in the washing machine on a lowish heat and thankfully the uh, the green stains came out. Back into the garden then and I'm bringing in the, uh, the house plants that I popped out there when it was really warm in the house uh, just to make sure they don't get uh, frost damage during the, uh, the autumn and winter. We also need to cut back um, what was growing up at the fence here, so I've done that and uh, taken the summer bunting down. Time to tackle the, uh, the spa then. Um, unfortunately the cover was left off, so it has got uh, dirt and leaves gone in there. So I'm going to start by just getting the bigger leaves out with a soft brush. I then just uh, physically picked it up. <laughs> Uh, turned it over and tipped the rest out and uh, got the hose pipe onto it to uh, give it a good clean. Got a soft cloth and uh, wiped it all round. While it was out of uh, its place then, I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, sweep the leaves up that were already round there. Obviously need to make it sure that um, there are no twigs or thorns that might uh, puncture the sparkle. Ironically, really carefully packed away last year and it's still got a puncture. And uh, my neighbour said that she left hers out and hers was fine, so uh, looks like I might be leaving mine out this year. <laughs> thing I'm doing then is um, getting the weeds up from between the uh, cracks in the slabs at the back um, in the patio. Also done this on the drive as well um, just to really sort of start afresh. I'd need to get some sand to uh, some of the sharp sand to put in between but yeah just giving it a good tidy up. So all I'm using is, is just cheap. It was from uh, the power shop something like that. It just digs in between the slabs to uh, get the weeds out at the root. You can use a pressure washer to do this actually, which will probably be quicker, um, but a bit messier. shame because it's got lights on to use at night but um, with bad weather the wind and the rain I don't want it to get in damage so I'm gonna put that away in the shed also were uh, a good sweep on the tables and uh, put the chairs up on top as well time now just to check that your uh, drains are clear. Um, I've got a couple at the house so uh, I'm just gonna take any uh, debris, any leaves and uh, litter that might have gathered there out so uh, everything's running smoothly and uh, it's not gonna get trapped or blocked over the winter. So that's both of them done. The rear one does get uh, worse than the front one. So I've 
some more trees and things around uh, at the back. Speaking of which, I'm going to give anything sort of overhanging a bit of a chop back before uh, winter sets in, just so uh, nothing can cause any damage and they've all had a good trim before the end of the year. I'm not really a gardener. I'm not really going on what time of year they should be back. All I know is that uh, they seem to grow back when I cut them, so um, must be doing something right. So it's important not to forget the birds as we go into the uh, autumn and winter season. So uh, I got this uh, bird feeder from Aldi. It's actually meant to be squirrel proof. I have had uh, problems with squirrels nicking the bird food in the past. I've had the wire uh, bird feeders and they've just ripped those open. So hopefully this one will stop them getting to the bird feed. Um, the seed mix um, I think I just got from either one below or the parent shop as well. So it's really not expensive to uh, you know, just give them a little bit of food. feeder then I think I got from the pound shop this one is kind of a um, plastic uh, perspex gain so hopefully the squirrels won't get into that one so I'll just pop those up in a couple of different trees in the garden It's a good idea then to uh, give the windows uh, a clean before autumn, winter. We're spending more time inside, so obviously it's nice to have a good view out. Um, I've also wiped round the, uh, the UPVC and I'm um, just cleaning sort of around the front door and the front doorstep just to make it all nice and clean and welcoming for the autumn. Use the pink stuff again on the UPVC if you're looking for something to, uh, to get it really nice and clean and white. One other thing I would recommend um, before we sort of get into winter is just getting your binoculars out and having a quick look at your roof. You could do it um, with your mobile, just zoom in. Uh, that works pretty well as well. Just check there's no missing tiles or broken tiles uh, or any damp could get in and uh, have a quick look at the chimney as well just to make sure um, there's no point in the need to doing or anything like that. And finally, time to cover away the good old barbecue. Um, that's not going to be used again this year. <laughs> um, I have got a little fire pit, so I uh, might get that out. But uh, no, barbecue days, I think, are over for 2020. I would recommend then that you also check your boiler, get it serviced before the winter and uh, make sure that it's topped up. Mine's a little bit low, um, I've got a little bit of a leak on the radiators that need sorting, so uh, make sure your boiler is topped up. There's normally a little sort of plastic um, washer underneath, uh, so you just need to turn that to increase the pressure. And finally, I always like to make sure I'm prepared if I'm going out, so I've got a winter car kit. Uh, there with a nice scrape of fluorescent jacket, it's got a foldable little shovel uh, and uh, one of those things that you put on the windscreen as well to stop it getting frosted over. Um, I got that I think on eBay um, but you can generally pick them up at uh, Halford somewhere like that. So there we go, now obviously I didn't do that all on one day so don't try and do too much, do it over the space of 
you know, a few days or a week, whenever you can fit it in. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something, who knows, or reminded you to do something. Make sure you give this video the thumbs up. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed and uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye.